Hey everyone, Nick Grio, Grio's Garage, and today we're gonna to talk about our cover car from handbook number 469, this 2019 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. This particular car is equipped with lava orange paint, which was a factory option in 2019. Likewise, it also has the Wysock package, which saves you about 13.7 pounds and costs $18,000. It also gives you all these fancy carbon fiber parts, including the exposed carbon fiber hood and roof with a nice color match stripe to complement it all. There was another weight saving option in the magnesium wheels that cost you $13,000 but scrubbed 25 pounds off the total weight of the car. That option was so popular that Porsche actually ran out of wheels in April of 2018. And as this car was on the later end of the production run, it does not have those wheels. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, I can tell you from driving this car. However, the goal of this car was to keep the weight down as low as possible and present it as a track package. So this particular car follows a traditional Porsche formula, weight saving, carbon fiber everywhere, 3.8 liter flat six twin turbo, which really isn't that different. However, the output really is. 690 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, 553 foot-pounds of torque, made it to a seven-speed PDK transmission, which Porsche has essentially perfected. The car has a top speed of 211 miles per hour, and it'll get all of that really quickly, and a zero to 60 time of 2.7 seconds. So this car is lightning fast, and it doesn't have any electronic assist. It is just the perfectly tuned twin turbocharged Porsche. It's incredibly well balanced. Like I said, it's just over 3,200 pounds, which is not that heavy for a modern day production car. It has enormous wheels and tires and brakes. It has 20 by nine and a half inch front wheels, 21 by 12 and a half inch rear wheels, an aggressive tire compound, which is essentially the limiting factor in that top speed. Porsche didn't want to engineer a new tire compound to get any more top speed out of it. Not that it really matters at all. To scrub that speed, you have enormous carbon ceramic brakes, 16 inches in front, 15 inches in back, six pot calipers in front, four pots in back, and you need all of them. When this car first came out, it set the Nürburgring lap record. It has since been bested, and then bested again by the MR version of this car. So two GT2s uh, are in the top three of the Nürburgring production lap record as it stands today in 2019. I'm sure somebody's gonna make a faster car soon enough, right? So this GT2 has got the proof in the pudding, which a lot of the previous GT2s just had a lot of power, wings, rear wheel drive, and were widow makers and dangerous cars for anybody to drive and weren't perfectly balanced like this car really has become. Chris Harris said that this car essentially should be called uh, the Grim Reaper as opposed to the Widowmaker because it is slightly more dangerous, but at the same time, it's got all the accoutrement to be extremely balanced. I did get the chance to drive it at the Ridge Motorsports Park earlier this May when we were filming with our friends at Ren Camera and Motion State. I scared the life out of myself trying to scrub speed before I had temperature in the carbon ceramics, and I didn't realize how quickly I could get up to 130 miles an hour in such a short period of time at track out. Luckily for me and the car, everybody got home safe. I got some temperature into those brakes. I definitely got some temperature into the tires and I got to enjoy it in its natural environment, which is at the track. This is an excellent Porsche. It is everything Porsche has always done well from a race platform, put down into a street vehicle with some crazy looks to complement it all. I love this car and you probably would too if you got the chance to drive it, and I encourage you to do so if you ever get the chance. Thank you for watching. For more about our cover cars, go to griotsgarage.com, and as always, have fun in your garage.